<laughs> what you're seeing here is the house of Grandma Mary. Um, I don't know if her last name is the same as her son's, but... <coughs> um, hello! <laughs> you know, don't you wish there was just some people that you could erase? <laughs> and that's it, that's all. Well, not necessarily Grandma Mary, but everything else pertaining to her. Um, what was I going to say? Another video, of course. But, um, yesterday, mom wakes me up because y'all, I, my sleep is so messed up. I'm not even meant to get to sleep. Sleep. <laughs> Um, she woke me up yesterday and said that, um, she was taking Jameson to go <coughs> Jameson to go see Daddy Scott. Daddy Scott is actually my nephew Dylan's dad. Um, that's who my sister was with or been with, always be with. Um, and... That's what Jameson, you know, knows his Daddy Scott. Well, Daddy Scott's been in jail. Um, him and um, Dylan, my nephew Dylan, both got picked up at the same time because I called and turned it in. Um, of course, we're over here on the ghetto side of town, especially this house in general. Um, there's a lot of cluckers, if you all know it. Don't know what a clucker is. A clucker is a crackhead, a uh, broke down person who would rather set, live off their mama, and uh, go and <laughs> basically do what they need to do so they can get their crack. And that's where Jameson's real actual father comes into play. Jameson's dad is a crackhead. Um, don't get me wrong, he's a nice looking man, he's, um, he's intelligent, but he won't do nothing for himself. He's literally a crackhead. So, as far as the state of Indiana, he basically is, um, paperwork wise, nothing, nothing to Jameson, um, since Jameson has been adopted by us. Um, but my sister... She goes from man to man. Yesterday she was with Scott, and then today she's with Daddy Petey. And um, Jameson don't care too much for Petey himself, but he likes Petey's mom, which is Grandma Mary, and that's where we're at. And I'm not happy about it, but um, and it kills me because when Jam, I'm sorry, there was Petey took. Jameson to go see somebody because I got the view of the front door and the side of the house so um I just I just don't trust them I don't trust the area I don't trust being by this house in general knowing that the um cops have been here and um <laughs> mom's dressed nice I'm dressed nice, concerned, even though I got my hoodie on, but, uh, you know, you got two white people pulling up, parking in front of the crack house. Come on now. In the ghetto. <sighs> but I guess the way mom made it sound was Grandma Mary was leaving and, um, made it seem like she wasn't staying here in Indiana anymore. Even though this is Grandma Mary's house, um, it's not true. She's just going away for a couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm going off and saying, you know, what the... <sighs> and so I told Jamal, <laughs> Jamal, I told Jameson, I Jam Jameson, you got two mammals. You got Mammal Mary and you got Clucker Mammal. 
and I pointed at Mom. I said, and this one's Clucker Mammal. But, anywho, that's another video for today. Um, I'll sit out here because I don't want to go inside the house and I'm just not comfortable. Um, I really want to get Grandma Mary over to our house and have her tell me as much as history as possible about their side of the family, but um, where she came from, her parents came from, all for the sake of Jameson, so that way when he gets older and he understands the whole situation and, you know, I mean, he's only three years old and you can't choose your family. The only thing you can do is choose to love them. <laughs> but, yeah. That's true. You know, right? You can't choose your family, but you can choose to love them or not. And they're not going anywhere. But, uh, anyway, that's it. That's my ramble for today. Now I got to make some phone calls and, uh, so I can be bored because, like I said, I'm not going in there and dealing with the people. Love y'all. Later.